everyone. Happy Easter. My name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews and I am so excited to talk about this book today because it wasn't just a book. It was a movie and it's on Netflix right now up on your screen. All the bright places. I loved this book so much and then I love the movie and that is a rare thing. How many times do you read the movie and then I mean how many times I'm going to start over. How many times do you read the book and then hate the movie? Like 99.9% .9 of the time. But this book is the exception. I loved both of them. She sucked me in. Jennifer Niven. This is the first book I've read by her. I saw the movie on Netflix and then I looked it up and I'm like, wait, it was a book? I got to read the book. Read the book quick. It is so good. It's a YA novel. I love a good YA novel. Up on your screen. 400 pages, which is really unusual for a YA novel, but it was, it was 400 pages. And when I saw that, I'm like, cause I had it on my Kindle. I'm like, I actually read that. So 400 pages that quick, that's how good it is. You just, I now on the Kindle, you know how you can scroll forward instead of like sliding. And I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scroll. I, I could not wait to get to the end of this. And then yesterday I watched the movie and I was like, well, first of all, she wrote the screenplay, but we're going to get into that. So um, I'm going to tell you my five favorite things about the book and the movie, because I'm trying to convince you to do both. I'm trying to convince you to read this book and then go, you got to read the book. The movie, you know how when you watch a movie and you're like, I, I felt like I, I was explaining it to someone, like I, I like, as there were pieces missing. So I don't know if I never read the book, if I would have understood some things, but that's that's like, I still am telling people who won't read the book, just go watch the movie because it is an amazing movie too. But here we go, because this is going to be long, too long, and I don't want it to be too long. So number one, it's a YA novel. There are not a lot of great YA novels right now. If I didn't say this before, this book came out in 2015 and there were really good YA novels, but like right now I go looking on it and I'm like, cause I do love them and they make the best movies too. They really do. They make a great movie. So I'm always up for a good YA novel, but they're hard to come by. Number two, Violet. This is, story is told in two points of views and she's one of them. <laughs> the, the girl and the boy. Of course you can imagine it's YA. They're in high school. What I love about how Jennifer wrote them is that they were each written so separately. They each had their own thing going on. And a lot of times when you're reading from different points of view, they kind of cross over and I don't know, you know, tell me what you think. That's how I always think is that they cross over and it gets kind of blurred as to who's talking. But these two points of views had amazing, it was her and it was him. Violet's point of view and what she was going through and this is not a giveaway. I mean, it's in the little blurb. Her, she gets in a car accident, her sister dies. She was the driver. So that's heavy for a senior in high school. I mean, I can't even imagine. Anyway, so we take it from her point of view and what she's going through with regard to dealing with going back to school and trying to graduate and things that we can't even imagine like happening after a horrific accident. So, which brings me to number three, Finch. So in walks Finch, okay, this crazy guy. I love how the movie did Finch. It wasn't what I expected. He wasn't like what I thought that they'd have him be, but then he was so much better. And that doesn't, Violet, she kind of was like who I thought she was gonna be. I have to say, like I, I thought that Elle Fanning who played Violet, I thought she did a great job like just being Violet. Finch, he, to me, he was so much more in the movie. And that was awesome because his story is one of like battling depression, Bible. They, they, they like give him a whole bunch, but then not really identify. Like we don't really want to, we don't really know what his problem is. And I, I love how my phone just went off and it's like over there. I love, love, love how they did Finch in the movie. And we don't, we know he, like, I would look at him and be like, he suffers from definite depression, but really kind of autistic. But then you don't really know. Love, love, love the book and the movie. And you will love him too. Which brings me to number four, the topic. She could have written about any 
one of those things and yet she took them all and put it into this book. Having raised teenagers and the stuff I went through as a teenager, I thought she handled it really well and I saw a lot of criticisms which I don't agree with because I think this is what's going on. I don't think that it's like, oh, what a heavy topic. I think it's stuff that our teenagers face and we had kids in high school that committed suicide. I think we had two or three of them and yet back then you just didn't talk about it that much. You didn't even know how to talk about it where I think that nowadays kids are talking more. They got social media, they got different ways of communicating. So even if they can't face to face or on the telephone, they can text. They have other ways of communicating and I think that's awesome and I thought she handled this topic so well. It wasn't even the movie like I thought well this could be really really depressing but then it really wasn't that depressing. So you know it was depressing but there's hope. She gives us hope by the end of the book that it's not like you walk out of there like oh my god that was so depressing. It, it isn't like that at all. Which brings me to number five Jennifer up on your screen. She has written a lot of books and she's written YA books even after this one but the fact that she wrote this book she wrote the screenplay. Do you know how rare that is? That just doesn't happen that often. A lot of times once they buy the book, they never see that again. It's like, here's your money. Okay, we're going to do whatever we want with it. No, she had a say and I am so happy that she did and I don't know her, but Jennifer, that is awesome. I am so happy that you had a say, which is why I believe this movie turned out so well because she didn't just hand it off to somebody. It was her vision. She knew this story and then she got to tell it. That is like the best thing for a writer. The movie came out in February, if I didn't already say that, but it's like trending really high, especially, you know, we're inside. We're watching every Netflix video we can. What perfect timing for her. She had this best-selling book, but I think that's because of the movie that so many people are going to be going back and reading the book and then watching the movie and because we've got time right so this could not have worked out better for her which is you know as an author it's like the dream i don't know how much more i can say about it go get the book i suggest reading the book first then watching the movie you're i know you're thinking 400 pages that's just too long but you know what it's really not first of all we've got the time and you know what else i love this was back in 2015 but i love the way she handled text messaging because i've seen it done like a, a lot of different ways but i thought the way she did it and you know like i said 2015 it was just it was a little bit different compared to what we're doing now if you even think about that five years ago and yet our text messaging and and ways of communicating have even enhanced since then but i really love the way she handled that the way she wrote these two characters you're just gonna fall in love you're just gonna fall in love with both of them and i can like tear up thinking about it thinking but now that i've got faces to them because of the movie i could just like tear up and you know so many quotables i didn't even get into that because this video would be like forever i can't wait to read another one of her books i can't wait i i'm gonna read more i mean she She's just amazing. It isn't even a question. I will be reading more. Down below, Indie Bound, because someday we will be going back to bookstores. And then also the Amazon link so you can read it now. Let me know, did you see the movie? Did you read the book? I wanna hear about it. I wanna talk. I'm like begging people to watch the movie so I have somebody to talk about with. And I can't wait to hear about it. So everyone, until my next 